What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Sneakerhead 213 Before I move forward, as always, hit the subscribe button uh, Comment down below and also hit the notification bell Let's get started So this review comes from a website called uh, I can't remember what it's called what was it? I think it was Barney's I think it was Barney's And they were having a flash sale um, Two weeks ago And I was able to cop these uh, Along with other colorways of this same shoe So this is the Y3 Adidas collaboration with that one guy whose name I can't pronounce, so I'm not gonna even try. Um, this is a size nine and a half. Uh, and with today, guys, we're actually doing the review on the Adidas Y3 Kuzari, um, and it is it's US size nine and a half. I went true to size with this. The official colorway is core white, core black, core black. Um, so let's get started. Let's check them out. When you open up the box. As you can see, it comes with duffel bags or dust bags. A lot of people call them duffel duff, dust bags. I just call them dust bags. See, right there says the Y3. And here's the guy who designed the shoe. If you can, you know what I mean? If his name is, I don't know. I'm not even going to try. Yamamoto. Yeah, that, that, that's his name, guys. <laughs> that is his name. <laughs> I'm not even going to try it because I'll butcher it and I don't want to disrespect anybody. Um, and then here's that another one just the same way and it's soft it almost feels like silky nylon type material um, and then it comes with these laces same kind of branding as on the duffel bag I mean on the dust bag sorry and uh, here they are and then the interesting thing I didn't notice these are actually extra laces of the same laces the shoe already has so <laughs> I don't understand that at least go with black and you'll see why I went, why, well, why I say that here in a minute. The, this packaging reminds me of the packaging on the Y3 James Harding uh, King of Flowers shoe that I did a review on. Here's another card letting you know it's a Y3. And then here it is, guys. There it is, guys. The Adidas Y3 Kuzari. And this is a uh, core white, core black colorway, I think they're calling it very nice shoe in my opinion um, I like it a lot especially because of the black boost um, looks very nice super super dope um, and then here's this one right here this one's pretty nice too look at that super super clean um, this shoe reminds me a lot of the NMD and like a human race type shoe because of the materials they use. They really do good, use good materials, um, decent quality materials. These retail, I think, for 410 bucks, and I was able to get these for, guess what, $153. And no, you cannot grab them because I already did sell them. Um, and they're still available on site, on um, websites for even cheaper than that now. So. If you really want these, now's your chance. Um, but anyways, these do fit true to size. These are the Adidas Y3 Kuzari. And um, as you can see right here, around this side, we have a little bit of white leather here as an overlay. And then on this side, we have the suede, which is like a really rough suede. And then you have the mesh here, which is pretty cool. Um, that's always comfortable when you're wearing shoes to have mesh on them. Um, and then this right here, the nylon tongue or acts like a tongue and it has the Y3 branding there in black. Has this thing that acts like a lace system um, to hold down the laces and it's black. And then right here, if you pull it, it'll actually tighten this part of the shoe here. So if you pull this, it's going to tighten it up, which is pretty neat. Um, and I don't even know how you would make it loose again, but yeah, that's just how that works. Um, the laces are white. Uh, wax laces which take remember what I said in the beginning of the video I don't know why they gave you extra laces of the same lace color so black would have been nice at least um, so yeah that's my opinion um, and then right here we see a little bit of leather there in white this leather piece back here which is really good premium leather and then this right here to act like a strap to pull it and tighten your laces down in place and then this right here a little bit of a suede there um, 
and then you just hit with this big rubber piece here that acts as a midsole and then underneath it is that big layer of black boost the boost on these is super super soft very cushioned um, just very comfortable um, the inside of the shoe guys let me show you what it looks like shout out to the guy that bought these off of me he lives out in San Francisco um, so Bay Area um, there is the tongue I, I can't really pull it out can I oh wait yep I lied yeah I can <laughs> so this is what the this is what the insole looks like guys it's a really nice leather insole super super nice it has the Y3 brand and it has Adidas and that guy's name again and that's the underside um, and then the bottom of it just looks like a regular NMD uh, insole the inner liner is just regular mesh material covered in an extra layer of some kind of I don't know I don't even know what you would call it but yeah I'll let you guys look at that and then it has a little bit of a suede cup on the inside to act for to act as reinforcement for back here um, like I said these do go true to size um, you should be good I was I was a little weary and didn't know but um yeah you should be good going true to size a uh, reason I say these remind me of an NMD I'll show you here in a second um, trying to get this insole in there that's what I was afraid of but um anyway the reason these remind me of an NMD is because of the outsole look at the outsole it's like made from the same material as an NMD the same kind of rubber it's not really continental rubber it's more like you know just the NMD style rubber and it has the Y3 branding, so it kind of reminds me of the of the Human Race NMD, which is pretty interesting. Um, the quality is good too, as well. If, if you guys are familiar familiar with the or have owned the NMD Human Race, um, you guys will notice that on them, the leather pieces are actually pretty good quality, just like these. So they just I just like the nod that it pays to the Human Race and. The NMD because those are some of my favorite silhouettes, even more so than the Ultra Boost. And here's the other one, it came with the tag. Um, so, yeah, there's a the tag. Here's the shoe. Let me know what you guys think. Let's try to get another thumbnail in case you missed it. Uh, with that being said, let me know what you guys think on these. Is this a good price? I mean, I got them for 153 made a bit of a profit. Um, and uh, they usually cost around 410 I think, if I'm not mistaken. So let me know what you guys think, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.